one thing about me is that I love Google Maps so much. It's so much fun. I sound like so nerdy whenever I talk about it, but it makes me so happy. Like it's such a fun little corner of the internet to waste some time, I have to say. If you're ever like procrastinating for a project or a test or something, Google Maps, it's just a great way to kill time. You take the little yellow street view man and just go like anywhere in the world and just explore, look around. Today, I'm going to be going to some random places from Google Maps street view and painting them. I am really excited about this. I'm gonna try and paint some places that are like visually interesting. I'll be like a little selective about like what places I choose just because I don't wanna draw, for example, just like a plain brick wall, <laughs> like, or like just a street with some trees on the side. Like I want to paint, you know, some different kind of diverse locations, like maybe a house, maybe like in a rural area, like an urban area, just like try out some different sort of scenes, some different pictures. So I'm gonna also try and go to like various locations around the world and not just like stick to one country or one continent. I don't wanna make it seem like I'm the first artist to ever use Google Maps as an art tool. This is a well-established sort of, I guess, technique um, or method. Um, it's really great as a tool for learning to paint landscapes that are unfamiliar to you. Like, for example, I live in Ontario, Canada. I've never been to a desert, <laughs> um, but I could go to one on Google Maps and paint it from a reference on there. Okay, I'm gonna go on Google Maps now. Here we are in the world. I have some like favorited places. Just uh, ignore those. Those are from like uh, years of looking around on Google Maps. But anyways, we have our little yellow man here. And as you can see, as I was talking about, a lot of Africa, a lot of Asia is just not on the map. What's the, the blue lines is uh, where the street view car has gone. Um, so yeah, let's go, Ooh, let's go to France. Okay, I'm at a bus station. I feel like those GeoGuessr guys on TikTok, I know exactly where I am. Um, I have no idea where I am. Um, I'm not loving this. I'm not gonna draw this, hold on. Mongolia, it's fun. I like cars, I like drawing cars. I'm not opposed to this scene here. Yeah, let's take a screenshot of that. Okay, let's go to Finland. Okay, I'm already thinking this is going to be a no for me. Oh, some pretty trees. I do appreciate that. Um, oh wait. Oh my god. Okay. No. Stop. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Can I go down this path? No, it won't let me. Damn it. Oh, is this a wedding? Oh, that's so cute. I feel like I'm intruding on someone's wedding. Whoops. I love like when you're like just walking around town or something and you see someone's wedding. It's so cute. Um, never been to a wedding on Google Maps, but that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna take a closer up screenshot too. Let's keep going. Um, what about Wales? I know nothing about Wales except that my older brother lives there. I've never been, but he he seems to like it. So that's fun. Okay. Oh, was not expecting this. Okay. A bank. I'm going to move away a little bit down the street to get like a Kind of, oh, I've changed seasons. Oh, and now it's really sunny. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to go back over here to the rain. Um, oh, back to sun. 
This is so cute. Stop it. Oh my god. Is this really where my brother lives? Wow. I need to visit him now that I know Wales looks like this. Let's try somewhere else. I love the clouds. Wow. I'm mean, gonna hate that. I'm gonna try and get as much of the sky as I can. <coughs> okay. I think I'm gonna go through my photos now and pick out the ones that I want to work with. I'm gonna draw five of them. Um, this view from Tanzania. At least I'm pretty sure that it was Tanzania. I'll check that. This view from Finland, um, this view from Mongolia, and this view from Wales. Okay, I forgot to film this, but I was looking around on Google Maps a little bit more, and I found this really cool view in Montana, right near the Canadian border, in like the middle of nowhere, and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm also going to be painting this one. Okay, I've decided I'm going to start with the pit, this picture. I want to do it, I think, in oil pastel? I don't know, I think that could be kind of cool. Maybe I'll use it black paper. Ooh, ideas. I love oil pastels, but I have to say, I truly do not know what I'm doing with them in terms of technique. I sort of just put down the colors, usually starting with the highlights where I see them and figure it out as I go. I definitely don't have an established style with oil pastels, although to be honest, I don't really think that I have an established style in general. I'm always kind of going back and forth between different subjects and mediums and colors. I used to be very insecure about not having a unique and consistent art style, but recently I've started to learn to embrace that. I feel like there's so much pressure from social media to be stylistically consistent like the algorithm seems to prefer to promote consistency and also i remember always wanting to participate in like draw this in your style challenges or um dtiy's but never knowing what my art style was to participate and that's not to say that dtiy's are a bad thing though they're like great for connecting artists and helping you find inspiration. I just always took them like way too seriously for some reason. I mean, all this is to say is that if you do have a consistent art style that you love, I think that's amazing. And like, I'm so jealous of you, but if you don't, like that's okay too. If you look back through art history, and I mean, I'm no expert at all, but I know that so many of the world's greatest artists or who's considered to be, you know, a great artist, they didn't find their art style until they were well over 40. I mean, like, if you look at Monet or Picasso's early work, it's, like, so drastically different to their famous later work. But that didn't make them, like, any less successful. They had to, like, experiment and try new things for years before they got to the point that they got to. So I guess at this point in my life, I'm just trying to make art that my heart desires, I guess. I don't know. Sorry, this sounded so cheesy, but I'm just trying to figure it out as I go. Okay, so I just finished the first picture. I have it here. Don't know if I love it. I don't hate it, but it's it's not my favorite. I think the clouds could be better. So I might go back and work on it a bit more later. Um, I don't know. It's okay. Good a, a solid start, you know, I think it leaves room for improvement on the next picture. Um, my, I ordered markers and they arrived a few hours ago, so I'm going to use these for the next couple, I think, just to get used to using them. Um, I've never been a big marker, like, user in the past, because I've never really had any. Um, so, really excited to try these. I got the grayscale ones because buying a whole pack of colors is like extortionately expensive and I also just love working with black and white anyways so I don't I don't know I prefer to do that anyways okay I literally did not film any of it because I hate filming uh when I'm drawing with pen because it's like such precise 
detail work and I don't know, I just need to be very focused. This is the sketch. One thing I didn't think through when I decided to do this with marker was the window panes are going to be a pain. Um, but, and all the cars, oh my god, I'm kind of dreading coloring this in now, but anyways, we'll see how it goes. I might have to whip out the white pen for the window panes. This is so random, but does anyone remember that Eminem lyric where he's like, watch you leaving out the window, guess that's why they call it window pane? Like, it's so, so terrible, but like, I always think about it when I draw window panes, it haunts me. Like, he totally thought that he ate with that, too. It's so funny. Anyways, I'm starting coloring with the lightest values and then working towards the darker ones. I was listening to an audiobook while I was drawing this, because recently I've started getting back into reading through listening to audiobooks from the library while I work instead of just listening to music or watching TV like I used to. I mean, I always used to read so much as a kid, but I stopped around the time when I started pursuing art as more than just a casual hobby. I mean, this is a bit of a side note, but I have to say, when something goes from being a hobby to being something you do as schoolwork or just work in general, it really changes your relationship with it. Not necessarily in a bad way, but you certainly have a different, different experience with art after it stops being a hobby. And I don't think it's necessarily bad again, but it's just interesting and I think it's not talked about enough and I'd love to talk about it more in the future, but I'm not even sure I've wrapped my head around it enough to talk about it in any sort of coherent way. But I mean, if it's something that you've experienced, please share your thoughts in the comments. It's a topic like I always love discussing. Last night I did end up finishing the second picture uh, from the Mongolia location that I ended up in. And I ended up writing the little like location tag, which I quite like, but yeah, I used my new markers and I really love them. I do think they're gonna take like some getting used to and I definitely don't think this was like the best, I guess, scene to choose to like start off with them just because um, the windows were a pain in the ass, but also all the little cars but i i like it so i'm happy i did this and i don't know what i'm going to do next i'm starting off this picture by sketching out the cottage in watercolor i probably should have drawn it in pencil first but sometimes i find that i'm actually more accurate with a paintbrush than with a pencil sorry this is like such a pick me thing to say but I guess it's just some sort of like unconscious preference or some kind of, I don't know, psychology where I know that paint is permanent so I know I can't change it so I know I have to be more accurate. Like the stakes are higher, I don't know, and I work better under pressure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I have no idea. Like when I sketch with a pencil first, I get so caught up in detail sometimes and I end up just erasing so much and wasting so much time. Like, it's definitely something I need to work on, though, because pencil sketching is still so important. Like, maybe not for these little sketchbook studies, but for larger, more detailed pieces, it definitely is. And, like, recently, my preference for paint has become so clear to me, though, because at school, I take both life drawing and life painting, and they're essentially the same course, but the medium is different, and the subject matter is the same. And, like, I hate life drawing so much because I'm so bad at it. Like, I got, like, a 65% on my last portfolio, which is, like, a D. And then in painting, I get, like, high 80s, low 90s, which is about an A, and I love it. Like, I genuinely look forward to that class every week. So it's just weird. But anyways, I sort of ended up adding purple undertones to the trees here, and I've noticed that I add a purple undertones to a lot of my paintings recently. And I think, like, I always used to say that I never had a favorite color because I love all the colors, which is true. But I guess if I had to pick, my favorite color is probably purple, to be honest. Anyways, how did I get to talking about this? This is such a tangent. It's very Peter Malark of me, though. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, I would love to live in a place like this little cottage. Just somewhere kind of rural, not super near any big cities, somewhere where it's really quiet. 
Like painting in a place like this would just be so special. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. I'm really not a city person, although I've never actually lived in a proper city. So what do I know? But I just think being surrounded by nature all the time would be so lovely. So update, I've finished my painting of the little Montana cabin. I'm actually quite happy with it. Like I was, it was, it was touch and go for a while. And I still, I don't love these trees over here on the right, but otherwise I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I haven't done watercolor without like, um, fine liner outline in such a long time. I think this might be my favorite one of the three that I've done so far. So this painting is starting off exactly like the last one, but it's okay, I promise it's different. So I would love to make more of these kind of Google Maps art videos if you guys are interested and you don't mind my awkward rambling. And if you have any like specific places that you'd like me to paint, feel free to comment. Personally, I'd really like to do some street view paintings of Paris and Alaska. Those two places are probably at like the top of my actual travel bucket list. I would literally sell my soul to go to Paris. I know everyone always says that it's like dirty and that tourists are always so disappointed there, but I really just want to go to the Louvre and the Musée d'Orsay and Versailles and just see like all the art and architecture that I've spent so many hours studying like in person. My favorite movie is also Monte Carlo, which is like this 2011 Selena Gomez movie. It's truly an underrated masterpiece but all the characters in it go to visit Paris and I mean it doesn't show the city in a particularly good light but for whatever reason ever since I saw it I've wanted to go. I also kind of had an idea to paint locations from Taylor Swift songs from Google Maps if that makes any sense. That's like so niche but I mean it's art plus Taylor Swift plus Google Maps it's a lot, but hey, I mean, I never thought I'd see very niche Taylor Swift plus messy edits. And yes, I mean the country pop singer and the Argentinian footballer, but I mean, TikTok really went all out during the World Cup and it was quite something. So anything's possible. Sorry, I really need to stop exposing how much time I waste on the internet. I really love finding ways to combine my art with other things that I'm interested in, such as movies and music and maps, like in this video. And I mean, like, I talk a lot about Google Maps in this video, but I do just love, like, maps in general, especially illustrated ones. Like, the walls of my bedroom are just plastered in maps of different places all over the world. And I truly think, like, if I'd been born in, like, the 16th century, I would have given it my all to become a cartographer. I mean, I'm a woman. I don't think they would have let me, but I would have tried my hardest because I would have loved that job. Today, I mean, like, I don't think cartog cartographers exist anymore, or at least if they do, I think they do more of a geology kind of job than an illustration one, sadly. Okay, I thought I'd do, like, a little bit of a wrap up kind of of all of the paintings that i did i've done four i wanted to do five but i've started editing this video and it's already so long and i don't want to like make you guys sit through like you know too much content because i don't think, I think that would just be a bit boring but i'll kind of go through each of the paintings and talk a bit about them um this one is the last one that i finished uh, it's the street in Wales. I'm quite happy with this one. I don't love like the background, but I like the buildings and yeah. Then the one that I did before that was the Montana Cottage. This one's my favorite of the four. I really, really love this one. I actually kind of want to do this like on a larger scale and make it into like a bigger painting because I think it's quite cute. Um, then this one, the marker one. I like this one. I don't love it. I think the setting is quite interesting, like with all the cars and the building. Um, like I love drawing things like that, but I don't know. 
it's just not my favorite but i like the markers i'm definitely looking forward to doing more work with them and then this one of kenya don't love this one it's growing on me i think but i don't know i just i'm not the biggest fan of the clouds so i think they look just a bit too dark and messy i do really love using oil pastel they're so fun so i definitely want to do some more work with them but yeah that's everything i hope you enjoyed this video um i hope i've inspired you to go on google maps and do some exploring yourself and yeah i'll see you next time bye thank you for watching <laughs>